Welcome back. So we did have uh, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, maybe a few passing showers into our eastern counties as we meet our way through the day today. High temperatures, not bad for this time of year, getting into the upper 40s. Uh, here's a look at our regional west weather camera, the tower cam time lapse here in Scotts Bluff. The clouds in the morning, more sunshine has made our way through later on to the day. The uh, rain showers missing the Scotts Bluff area off to the east, and we had a very strong westerly wind as we meet our way through the evening. That cleared us out pretty quickly. That westerly flow is really dry. So high temperatures 49 at Scotts Bluff, near 50 at Shatter and Alliance, 39 at Gordon, mid to upper 40s out toward Kimball and Sydney, and a high of 48 at Torrington. Uh, we have since fallen into the lower 30s at Scotts Bluff, Alliance, Bridgeport, 31 at Sydney and at Shadron, and mid 20s as you make your way out toward the Gordon area. Winds are mainly from a westerly direction. Wind speeds between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Those are sustained winds, we do have uh, wind gusts around 35 to 40 miles per hour. So that's giving us a little bit of a wind chill, especially in some areas. Harrison, that is a wind chill value of four degrees. We're into the lower teens out toward Gordon, mid-teens at Harrisburg Alliance and Hemingford, and a wind chill of 16 right now at Sydney. Here's a look at the satellite loop. Now we do have uh, mainly clear skies across the region, and uh, we have the uh, clouds moving off to the east and uh, that's usually what happens with that strong westerly wind really barely any cloud in the sky now we got this low pressure system missing us off to the north there's the snow into the dakotas and minnesota it's cold front made its way through it's giving us that strong westerly wind another low pressure system will skirt us just off to the south as we make our way through wednesday night into thursday but we're going to stay in this cool air mass temperatures are going to get well below average and stay there as we finish out the work week so as we track it through time going through the overnight mainly clear skies lows falling into the lower 20s we do have an increase in the clouds pretty quickly as we go through the uh, day tomorrow highs into the mid 30s to near 40 degrees and then as we make our way into the overnight into thursday lower 20s for lows and then for thursday more sunshine high temperatures into the mid to upper 30s across the region there is a chance of some snow showers wednesday night into thursday morning as that second system just skirts us off to the south. Uh, here is a look at what to expect after that. So this system works its way out. Another little system over here could give us some snow showers late Friday night, but looks like most of us will stay dry until the dual high pressure system sets up over the weekend, meaning that we do have more sunshine and warmer air. But until then, you can see the dip in the jet stream. A cool air mass over us with those highs only into the upper 30s to near 40 over the next couple of days. Most of the snow from this system staying into the southwest will be in the northern fringe. We're going to keep that cool air all the way until around Friday. There's that second uh, system moving on off to the north and east and the bulk of the rain across the region is into the southern states with warm air finally along the, uh, the east coast. Here's a look at the drought monitor. Uh, extreme drought still in effect even after all that snow we got this uh, winter from Scotts Bluff down toward the uh, Sydney Kimball area. It gets better as you make your way up to the north. Severe drought approaching Hemingford Alliance and moderate drought from Shattern out toward Gordon. On the uh, south southeastern Wyoming side Cheyenne out toward Chugwater in a moderate drought. Same it, same for uh, Laramie, but Wheatland, you have to make your way up toward uh, north of Lust, still in that severe drought. So we are entering a weather pattern where we could have a, uh, a few more chances of moisture, not only this week, but next week. Something looks to uh, possibly be happening. Maybe uh, some snow as we go through mid to early to mid next week. So here's a look at what's uh, going on over the next seven days. Cooling through the work week. Temperatures into the upper 30s to near 40. We'll have a chance of some rain or snow showers as we go through Wednesday, Thursday, possibly even Friday, but a warmer and dry week is ahead. So for Wednesday, a high of 40 with a chance of some snow showers overnight Wednesday into Thursday and a high of 37 degrees for Thursday. Partly cloudy skies lasting through Friday afternoon. Now, Friday evening, we do have more snow shower chances and a high of 39, breezy conditions, 42 on Saturday, mostly sunny skies through Sunday, a high of 52. And then for low, uh, Monday and Tuesday, low to mid 40s with a chance of some rain or some snow showers. We'll be back after this.